looked like he might have been doing a little extra work. Kirkpatrick's first attempt of the night has the distance. And the flags go up. Kirkpatrick bends this one through. Straight through the posts it goes. So Hawks Bay back to within one. And Kirkpatrick... I'd have to say. JP's just throwing a chair off the commentary platform. As Kirkpatrick tries to bend another one in, he's done just that. He's putting on a bit of a clinic, Kirkpatrick. And suddenly Hawks Bay are back in front, nine. And just not being able to roll away as Andrew Horrell lines up. The referees are wanting to think about the way they make that tackle in the first place, Sumo. That's the key. Tell you what, they lose one guy kicking goals. They get another one who kicks him just as well. Andrew Horrell gets his first three of the evening. And Hawk waved up for Child Kenser. Lovely gesture. Doesn't look that flash. But that's not the point. Kennedy standing deep. Fotoliki saying run onto it. Now they go. Quick ball for Fotoliki to Schumacher. Flat ball to Lowe. Lowe looks up. Finds McLeod. Promising period with the ball for Hawks Bay. Schumacher doesn't have a lot of room to work in. Goes back in field. Support from Elliott arrives. Now, photo Elite again. This is better looking stuff from the Pies. Around about 10 metres out from the Canterbury goal line. Best try opportunity of the evening so far for Hawks Bay as the big counter ruck comes in from Wyatt Crockett. Coman has the ball. Kennedy and Lowe are there in support. And again, photo Elite has it, guiding this forward pack around the field. Picked up by Newland. Newland gets the big legs pumping. Still going, Clint Newland. Hicker Elliott is there. It's a point. The try has scored. Oh, Elliott loves it. It was a great forward try, really. And JP deserve it. Oh, a great passage of play from Hawks Bay. And they found a weakness, certainly around those fringes in the Canterbury defence. And they just punch blind and then open, then blind. That was the steal to start it with. Absolutely superb. As soon as the player went to the deck, it was snaffled. A number of phases to build up to this stage, and then Clint Newland decided to have a crack, and powerful he was with ball in hand, with his wing mate on his shoulder, and Elliott is the try scorer. A great try from Hawks Bay. Oh, that's massive, Clint Newland. There he goes. He gets the big assist. He did all the work. Hicker Elliott gets all the reward. But Clint Newland there, that's great play. They might be struggling defensively. In the backs, Hawks Bay, but nothing wrong with here. That you say? <laughs> yeah, well, be cool. Horrell it is to add three, and he does just that, so Andrew Horrell takes us level pegging here at AMI Stadium. 20 points all, 54 gone in this match. 23 points to 20 is your scoreline at AMI. Smiles now from Colin Slade. Smile of relief as much as anything, I'm sure, because those ones you are... Uh, Expected to nail. He's done so. I seem to recall my co-commentator kicking some pressure goals. It's never by choice, Sumo. Slate again. This time inside is 22. And I'm not referring to Richard Turner. Rooney now. He's had a quiet debut for the Pies. Not too much wrong, but not too many opportunities. This time he gets the penalty as Canterbury pile it over the top. They're not done yet, the Magpies. They've got the penalty. They just need the territory. No time. So they have to tap and go. We've got 79 minutes on our clock, but the referee in rugby union is the sole judge. Carl Lowe into contact. Fodorali goes backwards. Play on is the call. Leighton Price, number 19, took it into contact. They go again. Michael Coman lines up a couple of targets. Ash Parker one, Slade the other. Here's Guildford, another who's had limited opportunity tonight. The Hooter goes. Hawks may still have the ball. Over the halfway line, the penalty comes. Hands. Rucker clearly falls. Oh, he's having to think about it here. 
Andrew Horrell. Oh, looking for a bloke that can kick 50 odd. Well, it's more than 50. It's on the halfway line. It's an angle. Yep. None of it. No one stuck their hand up, so they're going to move it. Big charge up from the bay. And now Fodawili goes and digging again. Boswell Wakefield gets put down and gets put back. But he manages to turn the balls there. It's been ripped away by Peter Borlase. And Ooh. another penalty comes. Hands well, on the side. We're still going to be playing at two in the morning. Here's Coman again. Right away! He's got to be close to best on show tonight, Michael Coman. He has been massive for the Pies. Josh Keyes takes it up. Now they've got another runner in the shape of Zach Guildford. Not done and dusted yet. You wouldn't expect them to be. Carl Lowe, Schumacher's there. 10-10, Red. Leighton Price lenses 1.98 metres to proceedings. And they go wide again. Horrell. He finds support as they rush into it. Foto Ali'i now. They've still got 30-odd metres to travel Hawks Bay. Can they do this? Keys. Headgear all over the place. Bodies will be all over the place soon too. Here's Price. He gets wrapped up and wrapped up well. Stephen Brett tried to rip the ball away, but it's there again. Guildford. Trying to get through the tackle, Zach Guildford. Foto Ali'i. Bodies everywhere. Schumark. Schumark. Bit isolated as Jason Schumark as Canterbury pile into this. And they've won the turnover as well. The penalty goes again to Hawks Bay. Eight reds. Sides. This time against Ash Parker. Well, hold the phone here, boys, because I reckon he's going to put someone in the bin too. Captain. In the 82nd minute. Guy's got to clear out of the tackle. None for more down here. Well, that's the oh. second warning he's been given inside the danger zone. Eight. And Horrell now has a chance to tie the game. Yeah, we'll have another look at this one. Obviously going post. What do you go for the draw, boys, or do you go for the win? Oh, you go for the draw. Take the points at this stage. Yeah, there's a long way to go to score a try from there yet, I think, Sumo. So take that three, take the draw if you can. Well, there's the defendant. Fodoli on the sideline, possibly cramping up just a touch, and why wouldn't you? He's been everywhere tonight. Well, Chris Eaton entered the field of play so he'll get to watch this go over from the middle of the paddock Horrell with a chance to draw the game the flags go up Matt Stannis blows full time 83 minutes gone in the game and we end at 23 points apiece the scores were locked up at 20 all for the majority of the second half and would you not believe it Hawks Bay awarded the penalty Level the game. Andrew Horrell replaced Dan Kirkpatrick in the first five jersey. And he's come up trumps. We'll take a break here at AMI. We'll be back real soon. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. And boy, 